Hey, welcome back to the workbench. I have got the micro B on the bench today. I'm going to show you how I changed my battery connectors to the XT30s from the ones that it had. I did that because I changed out the radio and the electronic speed control. More importantly, I also changed it because I like this connector and I have other things that connect to it like this. This is a battery discharger. It automatically discharges your battery to the storage voltage just by plugging it in and leaving it go. So yeah, it's a cool little thing. I'll have a link to it below as well. So enjoy this video already in progress. Doing the batteries, you have to be very, very careful when you solder the connections on the batteries. First thing I'm going to do is I want to know how long I want the lead to be. So that's like that. So this balance part goes in here like this. And then this is going to plug into that. How do I want to, I'm going to cut it a little bit shorter, about right there. I'm going to cut one lead on the battery. You only do one lead at a time when you're soldering the battery. Ask me how I know. Yeah. Alright. And then we need this. And I need my this. That is plus. That is minus. in a little bit like that and I get that into place yes okay so first thing you do is you tin the wires well first you clean off your solder iron then you tin the wires so you put a little solder on your tip right there and then what you want to do is get it so that you're touching the top of the wire and then we'll do this one We'll just get that nice and warm. Not my best work, but it'll do. And then we'll shrink to this. Now we'll do the other side. The other side gets cut right about there. Tin that wire. But first, put on the drink tube. All right, and we'll tin the wire. In the connector. Put the wire in there. It'd be easier to use the tweezers. And easier to put this in here. There we go. Voila. Okay. That's how you do, put a connector on.